The I in Life became uh, first and foremost a therapeutic kind of way for me to speak to my younger self. I had gone through a transition in life where I had moved from Europe to the United States and I had a difficult time finding myself professionally. And uh, it kind of became this thing for me when I needed to create clarity on who I was, you know, here and where I was going, how I was supposed to get there. And so I just became obsessed with writing to myself in order to create that clarity. And uh, that's how it started. <laughs> I had previously worked with youth and I had guided them into finding their career paths and, and I really didn't know how to do it here in the United States. But as I was writing, I said, oh my God, maybe with this, you know, other people can find their ways and other people can, you know, benefit from this story. And um, especially these exercises that I have in the book in order to create that clarity for themselves. So it kind of shifted from being like this letter to myself to, oh my God, this is it. This is why I'm doing it. You know, the reason why I wanted to self-publish the book is because I wanted to be in control of the process and my book. I wanted to be in control. I wanted it to be me talking to the youth. It was what I knew and what I wanted to offer. It's not set in stone. I wanted to go back and change it if I wanted to and just be a part of the process. I loved publishing the book. A lot of people are asking the question, um, what do I want to do in life? And they're having a hard time answering it. I've experienced that if you shift that question from what do I want to do to how can I serve? What do I have to give? It creates a more easier way to approach life professionally. So if I can get people to get that from the book, I'm, I'm happy. Thank you.